All right, artificial intelligence is coming up later for now. Darren Peck. <laughs> so about a week and a half ago, I got an email. What an intro. I got an email from the Discovery Science Center, and they said, hey, we're doing this event where we're going to invite 7th through 12th graders to sit down in a room with 30 genuine working scientists from around Sacramento. They're going to get to sit down and have dinner with them, pick their brains. They're going to be scientists from every field of science you can Very think cool. of. Scientists were at the tables with the kids? You got That's it. That's great. Yep, yep. Yeah. And then they said, and just to have fun and to kick things off, we like to do a question and answer with the kids, and we want you to come down and moderate the question and answer. Oh, Take cool. a look at some of the video from last night. It was a huge turnout. You'll see they're holding up place cards right now to kind of show what their answer was, and that's me moderating. <laughs> I know that guy. Asking some of the questions how fun. and some of the answers. So I was so thoroughly impressed, not only by how difficult the questions were, but more so by the caliber of scientists who were invited and sat in this room. We've got so many fantastic scientific institutions at our beck and call here in Northern California. Intel is an example of one. And I snuck over to a table where one of the guys from Intel, one of the computer scientists, was explaining the inner workings of computers. He actually brought a piece of silicon. <gasps> which is Very what the cool. whole thing works on. Look at that. These things in our lives, we are so dependent on our smartphones, none of us can really explain how they do what they do. He was trying to do that. Here's another scientist showing us the Stirling engine, which is an, an engine that proves most of the engine that you get in these internal combustion engines are not from the explosions we think of from our spark plugs and the gas yeah. and all that. It's just from a difference in temperature and the pressure that causes. And the one little girl there sitting next to the scientist had to explain it to me like five times. <laughs> 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 stay, on the, stay on the video for a second, guys, because I want to read you one of the example questions. Okay. Question number oh, no. two was, I'm ready. which is a cell in the human body without DNA? Is it A, platelet, B, neuron, C, an osteocyte, or a D, and epithelial. I had to ask the kids if I even pronounced that correctly. B a. neuron. A platelet. Platelet, you got it. Oh. How'd you know that? I, I just like A. How do you know stuff? A is one of my favorite a letters. A goes you, for A. I, I always go with a vowel when you give me a choice. Oh, hey, I hate to interrupt. We've got to go to the president. Uh, president Obama making a statement this morning.